everyone and welcome to XX Mel Potato Kitchen. This week we're gonna do simple syrups. And again, this recipe has been sponsored by Chickadee. We appreciate your contribution to this channel. I don't have a preview of what we do, but we're doing simple syrups. I have three versions. I have lemon, vanilla, and famous grenadine that we see in a lot of drinks. So let's get right into it. This recipe is very simple. What you need is a two to one ratio. One being the liquid and two being the sugar. You can also use brown sugar. So here you see me, I am measuring two cup of sugar or one cup of pomegranate juice. And I put that into a cauldron at medium low temperature. And I will mix until the sugar is fully dissolved. The way to know that when it's opaque like this is you will feel it with your tool. You will feel that something is different at the bottom of the pan. There's like tiny rocks at the bottom. It's not smooth. Once everything is smooth and you don't feel the sugar at the bottom, that means it is ready. You take it out of the heat and you transfer it into a container that will be easy to pour out from and it's ready to use. It is shelf stable if you do the 2 to 1 ratio with sugar. You can do a 1 to 1 ratio and keep it in the fridge, but if you want to keep it on the shelf, then do the 2 to 1 ratio. The next one is a lemon simple syrup. It is really sour, it is really sweet, and it's really good. So here I take a cup of lemon per lemon juice that I press. So I'm adding the equivalent of 2 cup of sugar. And once again, we are mixing until everything is dissolved. And as you can see here, eventually we don't really see because there is a foam, but I feel it like you, you will know with the spoon that everything is now smooth. And then you let it cool down and transfer it into a container. It's as simple as this. For the vanilla one, it is slightly different and it is a regular simple syrup, which you will have vanilla at the end. So half a cup of sugar here to a quarter cup of water. I was doing a little bit less because this was more a test, but you can do the same amount. Again, double the sugar and one time the liquid. You cook it until it is fully dissolved and here you can see it became completely translucent. That's how I knew it was ready. When it was ready, I turned off the heat, added one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is pure vanilla extract. And look at this color, all golden, all pretty. And that's it. That's how you make simple syrups. I hope that you guys will find this video useful. Uh, I hope it will help with your mix drinking liquid thing. The vanilla one I use in my coffee, the lemon one I use sometimes in tea because it's sweet and lemony, so it's really good. And the grenadine one mostly in drinks. But they're all pretty good. They're all really, really good. Uh, and recently I did one with mint, which I just did a simple syrup. But while I was cooking the syrup, I added the mint leaves in the mix. And then I just strained the leaves out. So I just put the mint leaves, the sugar, and the water into a cauldron. And I ate it up until all the sugar was dissolved. And when it was done, it's ready. And it tastes a lot like mint. Uh, Luigi says that it tastes like in the middle of the after eight chocolate. So it is a lot like <laughs> a lot minty. So that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it is a short video again, but it is very informative. I don't have anything else to say. So the key to this video is to remember two times the sugar of one time the water and whatever flavor you like. It doesn't have to be water. It just have to be a liquid and and you can play with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week for um, tofu chicken burger. So put your alarm for something, but those burgers are so delicious. I'm making again some this week and the video is not even out yet. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next week for another video. And until then, I'll see you guys on Twitch. Bye.